YouTubers, Mike Martins here, Mike Martins channel. You know, many companies use or explain a way why they're losing or their profit margins aren't adding up or why they're losing um, in the long run or how they can't having troubles balance their books and keep it in the black without drop, drop, dropping into the bread. Well, there's a really good one here uh, from the Home Depot um, CEO. Now I'm gonna kind of kind of back him up a bit here, okay? Because I did own. Let me read the the, the title first. Home Depot CEO Craig Miner uh, Miner blames the opioid epidemic for a surge in shoplifters who have stolen millions in goods from stores and warehouses and sent profits tumbling. I'll be very frank with you guys. In my my opinion, when I was in downtown Vancouver, I was like right downtown, right by stadium, right by where the 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 hockey teams used to play and football teams. I was right beside, literally 100 yards away from those those big venues. And the shoplifting was phenomenal. Sometimes I would lose, there would be some months where I'd lose $700 in, in product in, in, in a month. And then I would always fear to do inventory at the year's end. Oh, January, second week of January, I usually scheduled inventory. I hated doing inventory because I'd be I'd be down like 13 grand, 19 grand, 22 grand. Then I would expense that on my any capital gains that I have. And it's really bad. It's really bad for business. It's really bad for for um trying to keep a company afloat from shoplifting. Shoplifting is phenomenal. When I was downtown, people would just come in and grab something and walk right out. People weren't scared of getting caught. Why? I don't know. People are people just not getting punished for for shoplifting anymore like what's happening you know like that that's the thing like i would see someone shoplift in the morning and be out by afternoon shoplifting again in another store the same person so anyways let's look at this okay this is a really interesting angle here so they're blaming opioid the opioid epidemic for a surge in shoplifting hmm home depot revealed that organized criminals are stealing millions of dollars worth of goods from the retailer. CEO Greg Miner said the company believes the crimes are related to the opioid, opioid epidemic. This is one of the first times a major U.S. realtor is a major U.S. retailer. Sorry, retailer is citing the opioid epidemic as a financial factor. You know, I kind of believe him in this one. You know why? Because again, when I was in, right at Stadium in downtown Vancouver, we had opioid debts every day, like two to three up to 12 on average. We'd have opioid debts that un unmentionable, never in the news. It, it was just a swarm of, 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 of a huge group of people that were addicted to this. And it, 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 was, it was an ab absolute nightmare. And they would do what it takes to get their hands on what they need. And I, 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 I'm so serious about that. I've seen it firsthand. The thefts are expected to negatively, negatively impact the company's profit margins. The opioid epidemic was named the public health emergency by Trump administration in 2017. And I truly believe that it is a public emergency. Home Depot Inc. executives claim organized criminals fueled by opioid epidemic are stealing millions of dollars worth of goods from retailers, storing them in warehouses. The thefts referred to as a shrink by the retailer has become so pervasive that it will effectively narrow the company's operating profits next year. This is happening everywhere in retail. We think this ties to the opioid crisis, but we're not positive about that, Chief Executive Craig Miner said during the meeting with investors and an analysis. Remember, guys, on uh, Trends in the Housing Market last night, I had the uneducated economist on, and we discuss like, First story that we talked about was, is this a sign that housing is getting expensive? Is this a sign that people aren't renovating homes anymore? This might be the sign of a criminal, a shadow criminal or criminal entity or criminal just shoplifting could basically put a company as big as the Home Depot under. The Los Angeles Times reported that Home Depot's revelation is one of the first instances in a major U.S. retailer has to specifically single out the opioid epidemic as a player in financial issues. The White House took a public stance on the opioid opioid. I have read this already. Despite efforts to combat the number of Americans affected by the epidemic, uh, several citizens still struggle with addictive dr addictive drug. Remember, guys, uh, America is one of the biggest drum drug consuming countries on the planet. So you got to kind of, you know what I'm saying? 
The National Retail Federation reports the retailers lose around $51 billion in profits from shrink annually uh, and more than two-thirds of retailers saw an increase of organized retail crime activity in 2019. The NRF clarifies that while robbery makes up the largest financial loss per incident, the act is, com- is comparatively low against shoplifting and organized retail crime. Organized retail crime continues to present serious challenges to the retail industry. Bob Moraka, NFS Vice President of Loss Prevention, told the Los Angeles Times... The majority of retailers have installed security systems inside stores to combat theft, but the addictive nature of opioids combined with easy ways to sell stolen goods online has emboldened criminals. Uh, Anne-Marie Campbell, Home Depot Executive Vice President of U.S. Stores, said the company has to be sharp-eyed when tackling these issues. We have to be vigilant about it we have to we have initiated several um, pilots to reduce shrink across the board she said executive described one occasion when thieves in rochester new york were caught with 16.5 million dollars in stolen goods including 1.4 million from the home depot subsequently the georgia-based company is using technology like machine learning and to anticipate where criminals will strike next uh, they've also installed technology that stop power power tools from working unless it goes through the retailer's point of sale. In addition to collaborating with the law enforcement and removing valuable items off sale floors. Wow! In 2020, Home Depot's Home, De- uh, Home Depot's profit margin is expected to fall 14% compared to 14.5% in the third quarter because of theft's impact. The company forecast caused their share to fall around 2.5% on Wednesday, but they believe the setback will begin to lessen after 2020. So there it is here, opioid epidemic in the numbers. Look at that. 130 people died every day from opioid-related drug overdose. 10.3 million people uh, misused prescription opioids in 2018. 47,600 people died from op- What? 2 million people have an opioid uh, uh, use disorder. In 2018, 808,000 people used heroin. 81,000 people used heroin for the first time. Uh, Two million uh, people misused prescription opioids for the first time. Wow. So it's, it's, it's what, 32,000 deaths attributed to overdosing on synthetic opiates. Oof. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is made and fabricated in China. Hits the streets here in the West. And majority of the profits used by gangs, believe it or not, we covered this on trends in the housing market, are, is reinvested into the housing market. It's a nice way to take over a country, eh? Without firing a single shot, right? Following the opioid epidemic's announcement, the Trump administration unveiled a three-part initiative in 2018. The administration says they've secured $6 billion over two years to fight the opioid abuse, as well as a safer prescribing plan that was pr- predicted to cut the prescription fills by one-third within three years. According to the United States Department of Health and Human Services, in 2019, survey found that $2 million People misused opioids for the first time. From 2018 to 2019, an estimated 130 people died of opioid-related drug use every day, staggering 47,600 people died from overdosing on the addictive drug in 2018. The HHS found that uh, 15,349 deaths were attributed to overdosing on heroin and 32,656 deaths were related to the synthetic opioids other, other than methadone. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So this is a big deal. I believe the Home Depot when they say that because they know their numbers. They know their pitfalls. They know their expenditures. They know their losses. They understand and they could, a good forensic accountant could track back where a lot of it is. Where, where, where's the leak? Where, where's the leak? Where are we leaking? Where are we hemorrhaging from? It's theft. I believe him. I totally believe him that it's totally theft. Are they overreaching on this one? Could they be just maybe finding an excuse to kind of explain their losses away? I don't. Mm, I I believe in. I believe in more. That I believe more that it is a theft, massive issue. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, like at, at one of my stores in Vancouver, I remember I had to buy product from a supplier, like these really weird board games that that, that weren't selling. I buy them at one and two dollars, and then leave them at the front of the store. So if anyone comes in to steal, those are the easiest to steal. 
I ended up having to restock those stolen games like eight or nine times, like huge stack of them at the front. People would, would just go look, see if I'm looking, grab it, and walk away. And they couldn't sell it because the game was just trash, right? Then they think twice about stealing from my store because the product that they, they stole is like worthless. So that's a good way of getting at it. But still, I mean, I mean, that's it's kind of an embarrassment in a way too, like that it's getting to this point that I mean, where's law enforcement in this, right? A lot of these people, you have to admit, are re not repeat offenders, but they've offended like two to three hundred times already. Why is nothing being done? I mean. Are you going to start seeing more of places like Home Depot and these big, big box stores operating out of three strike states where states give three strikes? And if you're caught shoplifting three times, you're in a lot of trouble. You broke your third strike. You go to. So, I mean, would it be safer to move to more uh, conservative Republican style states as opposed to running out of uh, or, or operating out of. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would like to know. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And if you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can throw me a dollar a month, and that will buy me my coffee. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.